It's a good ass vibe, good ass time Whenever we link, whenever we meet Good ass mood, good ass drinks Good ass rap on this good ass beat It's hot, it don't need a hook And I got flights, I need the book Good ass rhymes, good ass bars, good ass flow Good ass job and I make it good ass dough I talk what I talk, know what I know and keep it real This a good ass show, that gas with Drees and Shell what up? It's your boy 23Gs, and I'm back with another gas episode. We got a friendly guy right now. I'm in the castle of the Yak King, man. What's up? Yes, sir. What's up, man? Man, I had to come by because I get a lot of questions. They're like, man, I see with that guy with all the henny, man. What he got? I'm like, that's a good idea. I should let them know what you got. I know you part of your collection, man. Yeah, I'm the, uh, I claim to be the henny goat on the internet, you know, that's really uh, just rep- representing their collection on the internet. I'm the old, I'm the loudest person that collects Hennessy on the internet. Let's put it like that. I'm not. I know some dope ass Hennessy collectors that's like really with that, and they got some dope stuff too. I don't have by far the best collection, but I do have the loudest one on the internet, and I do got some dope stuff, including this chain right here. You know, the Henny chain. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a lot of people with that either, man. So I, every time I come to the castle, I'm gonna call this the castle. That's cool with you. Yeah, that's true. Anytime I come to the, the castle, man, I see something new. I'm like, damn, what do you get this, man? I'm telling you, like, look at this right here, right in front of us, spinning. Yeah, this is uh, this right here is actually called the Frank Gary uh, edition of the Hennessy. It's actually comes with a box that's kind of dope as well. And I want to show you up close. So this right here is the Frank Gary. You see how the uh the gold is like two tone. It's an EXO. So it came in at like $230 or something like that. But right. the box is even doper with, with this too. If uh Drees can grab that box for me while I switch back to the other camera. That's see, he already recognized it because it has the ice on there. And the ice is real dope. Like, you, know. <laughs> you see this box? See how it's glistening? So it actually comes like this. And the Frank Gehry bottle goes inside right here. So we'll just put it away. And I'll bring out another one we can talk about. Man, a lot of these uh, exclusive bottles, they also come with like dope packaging. Like how you just point that out right there, man. Yeah. So like, it, like what, what draws you more? Is it like the way it's packaged or what uh, draws you to it? A little, a little bit of both. Like the packaging draws me to it, and actually, um, the bottle itself. See, that gold bottle is something special. I like that a lot. We have that NBA, that gold bottle down there. Yeah, yeah. So, this right here is another gold bottle that the gold bottles catch my eye. And another thing that catch my eye, I'm gonna go to close up on this gold bottle as well. See, this gold bottle here is, uh, mm-hmm. came out for the NBA. All Star when they first did the contract with the NBA. This right here is the limited edition VS, but it's one of a kind because I never seen a gold bottle. It come with a different type of gold label all the way down to the back label is gold, and it has like, actually, like the label is not on there if you see it, you know, it's like just gold to the touch, like right. plates on there, which is dope to me, like a chrome finish mm-hmm. <laughs> with matte, the matte with the chrome finish. So I like that a lot, and. That's what catch my eye the most, bro, bro. Like, those gold bottles. Uh-huh. Uh, I know they got a lot of uh, artist-inspired bottles, right? Yeah, the artist-inspired bo- bottles, I don't really jump into unless it's an artist that that's really, like, super-duper famous or something that's in my in my realm of art that I that I pay attention to, uh, such as the cause. Let me see. Like, uh, everybody know about this, probably know about him a little bit. A little more. I even got this little toy right here to go go along with it, figurine. But that's dope, man. I got a lot of friends that's, that's like would love to have this right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This right here was a uh, limited edition. It was one of the very first limited edition behind the Barack Obama. Uh, I think the Barack Obama. No, the Barack Obama wasn't first. It was another one that was first that was ever limited edition. But this is one of the first art limited edition. Let me. Let me and it has a number on the back. Is this how many they have? On yeah, them? it's like four hundred and twenty thousand. So it's only four hundred and twenty thousand of these made, and you have one of them. Yeah, and you see the shirt that I got on. It's inspired by this bottle itself. So I put the uh, the figurines with it, and here go the bottle. Hey, see that number that come around. All right, so 
only 420,000. Most people, like, when they first came out, they didn't know, oh, Hennessy just made a different label and they just popped them and drank them. Mm -hmm. So it's really less than that that's out. So a lot of people just drank it, threw it away, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, they just tossed it, bro, bro. They just tossed it. Hey, man, so y'all got one of these and you didn't know what it was, now you do, try to hold on to it, man, because that's something special right there. Yeah, the empty bottle sells for a nice little penny, too. If you go on eBay right now, I don't know the prices of it, Empty bottles, but they actually been selling too. This bottle here can go from anywhere from like five hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on who buying and who's selling and what and what location they at and, and what you number you have on the back. Me, I got mine for like twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars. <laughs> you see that turn around? God <laughs> damn, man! God damn. Yeah, this right here, this right here costs probably just as much. This is like twenty something bucks. I don't know what I don't know what that is. This probably costs just as much though. What else, what else we got back? All right, there, so I'm gonna bring you out something that I like, man. This is a this is a custom piece. A lot of people don't understand. Like, I like to talk about Bitcoin so much, bro, bro. <laughs> but I just made this custom piece for myself. I do a um, I do another podcast called Money Grows on Trees. It's the Money Grows on Trees Network, and I just do Bitcoin behind the bar. Basically, I talk about money and crypto and stuff like that, and I just have the Bitcoin bottle on display, and I just thought that was a dope uh, Hennessy display. Is, I, know, I, I know you get that question a lot. Like, where you get that bottle from? Yeah, <laughs> hey, it's it's a uh, it's a counterfeit person out there acting like me trying to sell this bottle. It's the only bottle in the world that's made like this, so I know they can't <laughs> sell it. So let me I definitely saw that guy before too. <laughs> I think I probably sent it to you before too. Like, look at this guy selling your bottle, and it is a picture from your house. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a picture from my house. What's wrong with him? <laughs> hey, but the thing about this is, you don't want to uh, cop any Hennessy from somebody you don't know or somebody that you don't know have cop from them. Uh, some validated stuff. So that's. That's um uh, about buying bottles and stuff from people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You don't you don't know nobody on the internet. That's that's just good business anyway. Yeah. Don't be buying stuff from people on the internet. Like yeah, that. that's that's what anything they try to sell you some sneakers. You don't know who this guy from Panic Can of Paint. You yeah, gotta, like verify with some people. Like make sure like this guy legit and not. But what what got you into this NFC collection? Well, what got collect? Me, oh, okay, it. perfect, perfect question. What got me into the Hennessy collection? And it, and it happens to be a bottle. Closest one to me. I've never seen a bottle, Henny bottle shaped like that. That's Hennessy, you sure? It's Hennessy. Oh, man. This is the Hennessy VSOP 200th year anniversary edition of uh, the VSOP. So, and, and 17, I think, seven, 1818, mm -hmm. Hennessy Privilege came out with their signature VSOP blend. And this bottle right here, I seen in the store, it was $84. It came inside this can, which I thought was dope as well. You know, it's just like got a wood grain up top, stuff like that, which I just like, man, what the hell is this? That's Hennessy. I had 84 extra dollars. I was going to buy some drink. I said, let me buy this beer. And the day I brought it, I was planning on opening it. And I was going to open and drink it. But I wanted to learn more information about it. Mm -hmm. And... I couldn't find any information about it. I just found out that this right here was on the internet and I needed, I, I, this wasn't on the internet and I couldn't find any information about it and I needed to know more. So I, I paused on drinking it right. until I got another one. So then I started scanning everywhere, going to try to find another one. Couldn't find it at any liquor store. Then I went on the internet, Google, it said, this bottle's worth $1,200. Or, what? You know, <laughs> you had a double check on I, that? I brought it for $84. I was like, how? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, nah, I ain't popping at all. So, but you could get it for cheaper than that, depending on who you know and where where, where you're located. But if you want to get some Hennessy, I'm going to pop this bottle because I do got another one. I'm going to pop this bottle sometime soon, but I don't know when. Um, but yeah, this one here is dope. This is what started the whole collection, bro. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the fact. This was started the collection, but the fact that I'm on the internet talking about Hennessy is because nobody else was. Right. I couldn't find any information about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the bottle close up. This is the 200th year anniversary, Hennessy VSOP. Look at that bottle shape, man. I know you've never seen a bottle Henny shape like that before, because I haven't. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Like did you think that, that was a uh, like before you found out information like, oh, this cost this amount of money? Did you ever think that was a thing before that? Uh, I I've seen different Hennessy's. I seen the Barack Obama, and I kept that one. But that ain't starting no collection. I just kept it because mm. you know what I'm saying. The significance yeah. of it. I had two of them. I gave one to my friend. Sold one to him because he didn't have one, and he started collecting. So I sold it to him for a good price. Like the Barack Obama can go for anywhere from a thousand to six thousand dollars. Which one, the Barack Obama? It's the black flavor one up there. Okay. Yeah, but I I, I say that I say that one for the next time we uh when I go through my full collection on my channel. But I'll give y'all some some more uh some more fire. Coming up, yeah, because I, um, I, I think like when I met you and started talking to you about liquor and stuff like that, that's when I found out that you can get like limited edition bottles that's not really out there, kind of like Jordans. Like <laughs> you can get bottles and resell it for more. I'm like, I didn't know that was a thing before. I didn't know like they they make certain bottles limited and then you can't really get it and stuff like that. That was like all brand new to me. Yeah, and and it's not just the labels that's changing in the bottle shape. It's uh. See, this is where I started collecting. I started collecting for the liquor inside the bottle. So the bottle I just placed up here is the um, Hennessy Class VM or Class VM. Uh, this is the Chinese version of Hennessy. They have their own blend, and I wanted to taste their blend. And this blend is, uh, it got a kick to it. It got a kick to it. It's uh, the Asian community li like spices. I guess they like so they like more spice. Yeah, it, I, the Caribbean like and Asian community have some spices in their foods and stuff, but mm -hmm. they made it more of a blend that got a little kick to it, like spicy, a little spicy, peppery ish. But it does have the fruity flavor of cognac, also. So I just wanted to show y'all this one. I have I've actually opened this and tried. I got a couple of bottles of this. And I think this goes from anywhere from seventy four dollars to one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, well, you, you just gotta find it on the internet or yeah. like order from overseas. Like, how does that work? Yeah, you can order it, but I ain't telling y'all that. <laughs> Don't give them the drop. Y'all, y'all gonna have <laughs> figure to figure it out on your own. I might do a Patreon or something, man. Y'all can't, <laughs> y'all can't just steal it like yeah. that, y'all. Get an OnlyFans. You can find out. Like, subscribe to OnlyFans. Yeah, subscribe <laughs> to my OnlyFans. But you get the exclusives. They come in so many different ones. Mm -hmm. Um. They have labels on it too. So in the in the Asian in the Chinese uh, community, they pay attention to the NBA as well. So they drop an NBA edition of these too. So this kind of pissed me off a little bit because I could not afford to buy the NBA edition of these class VMs. I got every other NBA edition of um, Hennessy, and I did drop a video on my channel. Me and uh, Uncle Reese two three. We talked about that. We talk, I talked about that right before the interview with him. So right. I give more details on that one. I, this here is for uh, Dries. So we'll 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 just stick to some of the <laughs> some of the stuff that got the good flavor inside them. Yeah, man. yeah. So that's why I started to collect, and I wanted to taste different varieties of Hennessy. And, and there's only four that you probably know about in America, which is the white, the regular. The VSOP and the XO, mm -hmm. like, but it's so many different ones, so many different ones, and they got a lot of different. Well, you can probably know about the black too. So, what's yeah. the uh, most expensive bottle you have from Hennessy? The most expensive, uh, probably it'll probably be like the uh, the Richard, the Richard up there. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we can pull that. Down. This one ain't a oop my bad type bottle. You ain't keep the boxing for that. Nah, well. I got this one for a deal, and it's actually I might sell it later. To be honest with you, somebody needed some cash because they and they are, they are fellow friend and collector, and I got two of them for a deal. Now if they don't pay me back, they don't get their bottles back. Mm -hmm. So it's like a uh, collateral deal. <laughs> it's like a pawn shop. Yeah, I, pop, <laughs> I have I had a little change, helped somebody out. Mm -hmm. I got the bottles for collateral right now, so it's my most expensive bottle, but. It might it might not be my bottle no more. You feel me? Right. So I don't really like to tell people that because there ain't nobody business what's going on with right. these other people. So I ain't gonna say no names. But I got friends and stuff. You know, I look out for them if I if I got it and they don't. You know, to get their bottle back. You feel me? So so it ain't no point of having the boxes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But right now we just holding on to it for somebody. It might oh, be man, that, that bottle is, is sexy though, and that's a sexy bottle right there. That there's no hard. <laughs> it's that reach all. Y'all can look that up and see what it, what what, what is it, like fifteen fifteen hundred uh, at gotta, retail. Better go up. Two thousand. Better go up. Twenty five. Better go up. Three. Go <laughs> How up. much? <laughs> Eight. Uh, 
I think this one right here come in at about 4K. Yeah. But I was thinking like 1500. I don't think you could get this one anymore, except for in like some um some locations they still might have it. Mm-hmm. But they came out with a new bottle for the um for the Richards, which going for like eight thousand dollars now. Jeez. So this is priceless in a sense. Because you can't get it no more. Get it anymore. Mm-hmm. It's a collectible. Just like um some of the some of the ones I just showed you, which is the NSC VSOP. Right. So I don't think they're making this decanter anymore. So you can't get it anymore, so it's kinda priceless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. I gotta put this back in the cabinet though. Keep the people entertained for Man, I told y'all, I told y'all I'm in the castle right now, man. You got all the varieties, man. We not be going through the whole thing. We just give me y'all a little sample. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Go to JP Reviews on his YouTube, man. He gonna drop all the exclusive stuff over there. Yeah. This is right. Oh, shoot. Let me talk to you. This right here, man. I'm gonna show y'all straight up. I'm going straight to the... James Hennessy. Who the hell is that? James Hennessy. This is like uh, Richard Hennessy, like grandfather or something like that. But... This is a nice blend of cayenne. You uh, you gotta get you a shot, guys. Yeah, you gotta taste this. Oh, yeah, I don't let you taste this before. Mm. Yeah, you taste I never. It. I don't think I even seen that bottle, man. I told you, What's I, that? I every time I come here, I see something new. And this today, I seen this. This is something new. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> this right here. I was like, who the hell is who the hell is James? Yeah, this right here is um, one of my most delicious bottles of Hennessy that you I have. Nah, the uh, oh. top of it. Oh, you got the you got the Hennessy shot glass. Oh, shout out to uh, shout out to um, uh, what's the and Henny we trust with the Henny shot glass. Every time I bring this out and talk about it, I do have to take a little shot of it. Though, but I don't want it to be all gone. Now, this is one that you can get for about you got to put your own poison. This is one you could get for a great price. This is a duty free Hennessy. And it's one of the best ones. So a lot of people go looking for look, look how heavy that uh metal. That's a paperweight right here. Yeah, that's like somebody out. <laughs> dope. It's like a it's like a, a D battery. <laughs> but this is one of the most delicious ones that you can actually put your hands on. So you go to airports in Jamaica, go to airports in the international airports and I'll things be, like that. I'll be in Jamaica in a week. You can fly in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you be in the airport. That's what I get there. Oh, you cruise? Yeah, uh, cruise. You know, I'm flying there. Yeah, so I should give you $170 <laughs> to get me one because yeah. I need another one. But this is a liter. I think you're going to get the 100, I mean, the 750 mLs. But you can actually buy this one. And if you ever get the opportunity to buy this, buy it. At retail? It's going to be in the airport, so mm-hmm. it's going to be duty free. Okay. So you can bring like two bottles back on the plane mm-hmm. unless you put them in your uh, carry on. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, not to carry on, but you put them in your thing and they don't know or something. But most of the time you only bring two bottles back. So if you go in, bro, I gotta I gotta give you the cash though. You gotta let me know because I need another one of these. I needed that. Sure, Cause they be trying to charge me. My homeboys be trying to charge me, man. I like, bro, I'll just fly to Jamaica and get it. Cheers. Ain't really no shot. You guys you can sip it. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to taste it. That's why. Hey, uh... Miss my mouth a little bit, man. I don't say I spilled it in my mouth. Yeah, but well, you got a hole in your lip. He keep a hole in his lip, bro. Pause. I literally do got a hole in my lip, though. Oh, I, I ain't gonna I didn't, I didn't mess with you. Not not like no more because I've been stitched up, but like when I was younger, I actually did. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mess with it. Shoot, I ain't know that, bro. <laughs> but I want you to taste the fruitiness of it, the smoothness of it. Oh, yeah. That bit kind of tastes really good, bro. That might be the. The best that might be the best thing I tried. I gave this the best bottle of last year, and I've tried a lot of bottles. I do drink review channels, so you know I try a lot of bottles. This is the best bottle I had in 2022, the best bottle I tasted in 2022. Listen, this might sound weird, but I feel like I taste like a henny and coke a little bit in it. Like it's feel like, feel like it's mixed, but you still get that heat from a straight like sip. It, it tastes like nice and sweet to me. It tastes like a tastes like the smell of a bouquet of flowers and and cayenne. Which is like the peppery. It got, I don't know. It got no peppery, but it tastes like the smell of some flowers. It tastes like yeah. It, it, I don't know about the pepper, but I get like no, no sweet. pepper, no pepper. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I like I, that's that. what I said. It ain't no pepper in there. I'm tripping. Yeah, I like that right there, man. Yeah, bro. That's just, that might be the best thing you ever tried. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's that it's, <laughs> it's that way for real. It's that way. Yeah, speaking of that, what, what's the best thing that you tried? Uh, probably that Richard. Okay. 
But this is the best one I tried from uh like doing my reviews. And mm-hmm. So let me see. That might that that's definitely the best honey I tried. Yeah, the rich art. I thought I had um Master Blenders too. I thought that was probably the best one I had yeah, until I, I tried that one. Oh yeah. Since you brought it up, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. That's, that's four. Four. Three. What? You got four and three? I got two and one coming up too, bro. No way. No way you got you got four three. No. That's two. Two and one. That's the only person I know that has all four of the master blenders, man. And just so y'all know, we gotta get a close up on that one for y'all. The only person I know that has all four. Look at this right here. So this is master blender number one, two, three, and four. And if y'all don't know, these are these was a addition of Hennessy that came out at at uh 43 43 percent alcohol by volume. They was made by certain master blenders and they have a collection series of them. Now they, they only came out this one came out in 16, 17, 18, and 19. And um I'm waiting for the next one to come out. Is it's, supposed five to, coming? it's supposed to be a five coming, but I think they just put it on our legs. But these right here are some great blends. Like this is some stuff that bourbon normally do. They'll mix a they'll mix a batch and they'll bring it out. And it's like what they'll call like small batch whiskeys, but or something like that. But this is like a master blend of something that you'll never get to taste like that taste for ever again. So it's like a once in a lifetime blend that you just have for yourself, you know? Yeah. So I thought that was real dope of them to come out with something well, like what's that. What's your favorite out the four? Two. Oh. We agree on we agree on yeah, that. Yeah, two <laughs> two is my favorite out the four. Four, but the one lately I've been smashing because it's so it's it's delicious too. But you know, this is one these are the ones I got open. I got a couple of uh, sets of them. Mm-hmm. And these this set actually goes for three thousand dollars if you got them unopened. And the retail price was the retail price is a hundred dollars a piece. And mm-hmm. right now you can still get the, the um, four at certain places. You can still get the four at certain locations. Yeah, and got, you could get it for about one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, that's what I got right now. All I got is the four. I haven't opened it. I just been holding on to it. Um, so I wish I could get my hand on the rest of the three. But if you see the if you see the um uh, the one two or three, go ahead and grab them if they like less than a buck fifty. That's a great price for them because they're never gonna come out again. Some people that have them, they know what they have and they try to up upcharge you. Yeah. But they are available. Some people hold if they, if the one is available, grab it. Because even if you don't even drink Hennessy, you can right. sell it to somebody for two hundred dollars. I haven't seen like the other ones in years. I only seen the four. Yeah, because you had to you had to be on point by yeah. by uh you had to buy the three and understand about the one. Basically, I believe you had to know about the three before you could think about the one and two. If you missed the one and two, right? Because the fact of the matter, and this is another one that I had to look, go on the internet search and find out. What's going on when I had brought the three? And I was like, mm-hmm. what, what about two and one? And um, you really had to understand that it was other ones out there. Then you had to go search for them and get, try to get them, you know? So yeah. if you if you had, if your first one was the four, it's going to be hard to find the one. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Because the four came out in 2019, but they didn't release it in 2020 like they were supposed to because COVID. Mm-hmm. So you kind of got it like 2021-ish. Like between no, twenty, I don't, I don't think I ever tried the four. Honestly, I just got it between twenty. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I was gonna say uh, when I first tried the uh, Master Blender's uh, research, he was on uh, live with last night. He uh, he got it for like a, like an anniversary gift or something like that, like his birthday gift or something like that. Yeah. Uh, his wife bought it for him. We was like, we didn't know what it was. Like we never had it before. We tried. They was like, yo, this shit is good. Like we got we yeah. got we got find this. Then we found out it was like more numbers and stuff like that. It's crazy because that's how we kind of started the podcast. We just like seen a bottle we never saw before, pick it up, try it, and we was like, damn, this is good. Or this, yeah. this is trash. What's dope about what y'all do? I like what y'all do. What you could do is uh, y'all could just put like twenty dollars every time y'all pod together mm-hmm. and like like at, at the end of six months you go buy like a thousand dollar bottle you know right. what i'm saying at, you know you got five people twenty dollars every time you pod ten pods we go get a thousand dollar bottle we bust that open yeah and that's dope and you can sell the empty bottles on the internet for like get some empty of your money bottle, back. empty <laughs> bottle of uh, the richard probably go for like five hundred dollars mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you get a five hundred dollar rebate <laughs> After you enjoyed it, yeah, you can tell people you had it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. So 
I'm gonna get into a few more. I want to get into one of the old dusties and uh, this one here is one of my favorite ones. I'm going to Jamaican and getting that bottle. Leave that. Y'all gonna see me with that bottle. <laughs> so we, right now you got the biblical henny. Nah, it ain't biblical henny. It's called Henny Tones Book Two. It looks like it's it's made for like people over here for the for the it's it's designed after the prohibition type stuff. Man, y'all when see they what hit, I, yeah, when they hit it in the libraries and stuff. But y'all see want, what I mean? You don't want to look Exclusive. like drinkers and stuff. But the bottle is so dope. So I brought this because all the reasons that you buy it. The artwork looks like a book. The liquor inside is a different blend. Uh, and the bottle is awesome too. Look how you even open up. This is my first time seeing this one too. I got yeah. I got to check out. And this come number, this number 42. I don't really know how many numbers it is, so yeah. Man, listen. What like what? I'm gonna show y'all. Never saw this before. This let's is get crazy. close. Up. Let's get close up on it. I'm gonna give y'all a close up look. Hold on one second. I know you never tried this before. Nah, I um actually brought this because I have two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. And hopefully one day they get married, and I can I got two of them, so I can actually open this up with their husbands, and we just have a pour when they get married. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the goal, like to save that for this right here. That's some exclusive shit right there. If yeah. y'all tuned in, man, yeah, it's this, blowing my mind right now. Like, what the fuck is that? And the thing about it is, man, they have uh, they have multiple uh, versions of this. They have Tones Book 1, and they have a Tones Book 2 that has, like, different bottles. So you can actually get get three different versions of this. I only have the, two, the Tones Book 2, two of them. So... The other one's kind of hard to get, man. These dropped in the in the uh, late '90s or early '90s, uh, copying the ones that dropped in the '80s and around Prohibition time. So all y'all people that's out there saying Hennessy is trash, man, go do your homework because they got some like, all, like a lot of these Hennessy's has backstories too. It's not just a bottle, or you know what I mean. Like it, it, it it's pretty cool. Oh man, y'all know y'all enjoy that one. So yeah, I just, I just have to put. I think I think a lot of people like the pure white because it's is it's, it's only exclusive. can get it from yeah. You only Hard can get it from um, you can't get it in America unless somebody's selling it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the um to the, the other camera to show y'all something real quick. So the pure white also got these cigars as well. So I just want to show y'all some cigar action. I don't smoke cigars, but they do have a cigar that pairs with the pure white, supposedly. So that's what that's all about. I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my man Shell, man. He's not here today, but he loves cigars. He the cigar king. Make sure y'all check him out because he, he got some unboxing videos, some exclusive shit too. Oh, Shell. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot Shell do the cigars. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's dope. That's dope. So um what I want to leave y'all with, I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna leave y'all with nothing yet. I'm gonna talk about the Japanese Hennessy. Now, this was almost gone. I got one more. I don't want to. He was enjoying that one. Yeah, that that <laughs> one is uh how how do I describe it? Describe it. Oh man, it's like a a hell of a kick of smoothness. Like so it's not smite, it's not spicy like the Chinese it, version. It is, bro. But it is? it's smooth. Okay. So it's a peppery smooth, like it's delicious, bro, bro. Man, uh, check, make sure y'all check this bottle out. Another I would bottle give you some, never... but I'm going to finish that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see how much is left, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all me. That's all me. It's, but when they say cognac champagne, so. Yeah, it's uh, it's the reason it says cognac champagne, like like they do they do their Asian um variety, well, the Japanese variety pretty good. They come from the fine champagne region in France, and it's made uh as a VSOP. That means it's made four to, four to 10 years, so it's aged. The bottle goes for about $125 retail, and that's at the Japanese, uh, that's the Japanese price. So to get it over here, you're going to pay about over 200 So mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? So unless you know somebody going to Japan anytime to look out for you, which they probably won't be trying to bring you no bottle back because you're looking <laughs> bring two. But yeah, man, that one right there is, um, it was a close third, second or third to me in the, in the best bottles that I opened last year. Uh, I've opened some great bottles this year, but that one that one was a good one. And I opened that at my mom's house. We was just celebrating, having fun. It's so delicious, so delicious. 
You could tell. Look how empty that bottle yeah, is right because there. Because I, I wasn't the only one that hit this. Yeah. I had the family the family over. We all we all tap, tap this one together a little bit. But I was mad because I was like, man, shoot. Y'all don't have too much of this. <laughs> man, check that out right there. That big you got hard, that uh, Japanese writing in the back. Yeah. That big that go hard. I'll show y'all. Mm-hmm. Man, I told y'all we in the castle, man. The yak. King. Yacht King in that bit, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. We get back to it, though. <laughs> we get back to the pot. And I, I want to um leave y'all with something before we get up out of here. Cause I got a I got a lot more in my collection. And we're gonna we gonna pair up and do this again. Y'all just like the video. Y'all subscribe to my guy, you know, and we can keep this going for part two and three and four and five. For you know? sure. Cause so, it's, I'm telling you. When I say plenty. castle, it's big like a castle too. We got plenty, we, but we, we we ain't talking no small collector one to five bottles. No, we talking about the the real deal right here. And all these bottles that I got, man, they all gonna get drank. So I don't care what the value of them is, they worth zero dollars because I'm drinking them. This this my gotta lifetime. be an old ass bottle. I just looking at this like yeah. the top is like this right here. It been through some shit right here. I'm gonna show you the bottle up close real quick. This bottle been through some shit. What's this? What's this right here? This bottle right here is the Hennessy Three Star. Now this Three Star came out in the fifties, forties, where they started started giving Hennessy or cognac a grade or like V. You know how they call VSOP, VS, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. They have certain rules and regulations around cognac where. You have to age your, you have to barrel age it in oak barrels that's never been toasted, burnt, or anything like that. And um, Three Star was the first VS. It had to be two years or older and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And the only way you can put those Three Stars on it. So all cognacs back in those days, the Martells, the the, uh, the Remy's, and the uh, Cavassiers had to put those Three Stars on there or they couldn't call themselves cognac. So you have to have that age statement on the bottle. And you see how this Hennessy uh, arm is? It's a little different than the, than the Hennessy arm that we have today. It looks like it's kind of a little, a little funnier, but it's almost the same. It's just it's just little different differences in it, but it's almost the same. Yeah. But that right there is gonna get popped one day, and mm-hmm. it just depends on what condition you get it in. Like collect some collectors like the bottle is actually the top is flimsy, but it actually comes like it actually comes like that. It's like that. But, I, I just can tell, like from looking at it, it's an older bottle. That's all. Yeah, it it is. But you know, I got this from um, a good collector site, so I, I think I got a good bottle. So Shit. might be trash inside. <laughs> but, would you would you drink a uh, liquor that that's old? Hell yeah, I'm drinking shit out of it. I told you <laughs> everything I got. Everything I got Man, is going to be drink. What is that like? I don't even know how old that is now. 70 years old? Yeah, it's 70 years old inside the bottle. Oh, but man. It's age even longer than that. That's a that's an old ass look. I don't know if I'll uh, dare touch something yeah, like that. Yeah, they got a little shit in the bottom of it and everything. I don't care. I'm drinking out of it. Everybody who made that is dead right now. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell they didn't even make the bottle. They didn't even do the glass right. So they got stuff in there. I'm just going to drink it anyway. I don't care. So I don't care, man. <laughs> so make sure y'all stay tuned. Jake Fury Reviews, you might miss that video. <laughs> hey, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Y'all might miss that video. Make sure y'all see the, the reaction of a 70 year old cognac. Yes, sir. Y'all got, you got any more questions for me, Threes? No, no, I appreciate inviting me to the castle again, man. Thank you for showing me and the and the guys out here, ladies and, and men, the, the collection you got, man. We just learned a lot today. We all seen some shit that we never saw before. I'm pretty sure that. And if y'all, if y'all seen all that shit before, comment if y'all didn't. Like, damn, I never seen that one. Let me know which one y'all thought was your favorite. Y'all want to try? Let us know, man. Cause yeah. And if you got a collection out there and you do Hennessy as well, and you looking for like a Hennessy collector to tap in with, man, hit Drees up. He got my number. Or you hit me up on my page. Check me out. Jake Fever Drink Reviews. JakeFever.com. Jake Fever Drink Reviews everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, mm-hmm. uh, YouTube. Hey, I'm looking. I'm looking to find more Hennessy collectors. This is what I'm out here doing. I'm out here uh, teaching people about Hennessy, building Hennessy collections, and uh, just really talking about cognac and having having fun drinking and doing it too. Yeah, man. I thank you. Thank you again. Appreciate you. And it's been another episode of that good ass show. Gas. Yes.